doesn't seem like a place you find good men! We're not looking for good men. We're looking for mercenaries. We have no hope of taking the fortress without them. If we make it far enough to hire them, with those things out there... These bones! This place has swallowed things larger than us! They'll kill us all! Run! Get off the sand! It's all sand! Keep calm! Keep moving! I was hoping it wasn't a corpse I was dragging home. A bit, a bit weird, that, eh? <laughs> My man, <coughs> what happened? I'm sorry, lad. They weren't as lucky as you. Thank you for saving me. Oh, you don't thank me. Uh, thank this. <coughs> that little darling's a bit twitchy, but she should get you up to my camp, no trouble. I've uh, got a newer one myself. Worked out all the hitches. Hitches? Word of advice about the claim. If you don't like heights, don't look down. And if you don't like dwarf asses, don't look up. <sighs> this device, you built it? You don't need to flatter me, lad. I already snatched you from the nasties. No, what you got there's Numenorian. Loads of their contrivances scattered around from way back. Very useful. Trick is, grabbing it without the worms grabbing you. I found a few promising sites, got them all sketched out. You bring what you me, I'll tinker till it does what it used to. Or does something anyway. Then you can field test it. Make sure it's safe. Sound good? More than fair. Not the most convenient spot if you're moving in furniture. But on the plus side, worms don't like heights. So, what are you doing so far from Gondor? Looking for the Vanishing Sons. They're a mercenary company. Yes. I hired a few of them to look for Numenorian bits. Now I owe their leader a few... <clears throat> mercenaries. I've got just the thing to get you to where they are. Just don't tell them where I am. What do I do? Just run off the edge of the cliff. Run off the edge of the cliff? And here, these are the places to poke around for more Numenorian goodies. Go on then. I've used this thing myself. Not a bump or a scratch. See, laddie! Nothing to it! Now, whatever you do, don't! Oh, you'll figure it out. Figure what out? My name is Berenor. I am second captain of the Gondorian Guard at Minisithil. 
Minas Ethel has fallen some time ago, I believe. I am seeking soldiers. Well, it's difficult to be a captain without them. Lucky for you, I've got the finest warriors in all of Middle Earth. <laughs> Do you carry coin of any kind? Some. Some. You're going to need a lot more than some. <laughs> what are your plans for the raid? I assume you're not planning to retake Minas Ethel. I'm planning to take Shindrum. The fortress? No, 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 no. <laughs> that sounds like the work for heroes. All I can offer you are mercenaries. Look, why don't you come back when you have some more money? Or sense? What art? How do you know that name? You haven't changed! I remember a boy of seven. Small for his age, so he had a lot to prove. And one day, he decided that he was going to explore the caves of Umbar, but he got himself into a little bit of trouble. Lucky for him, he had a brother. A beautiful, courageous, older brother who was sent to look for him. And by the time that champion reached him, he was moments away from being devoured by Karagors. <laughs> Karagors? Jagai? No, 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 little brother. I, I am Serka now. Serka, the unkillable. Serka, the insufferable. Serka, the survivor. But I still bear some scars from my former life. How did you come to be here, among these Easterlings? Same old story. A village is raided, homes are looted, mothers and fathers are slaughtered, screaming tears. Orcs. Mercenaries. How is it? I should be thankful, though, of course, eh? Not every boy gets the chance to be raised among such a merry band of killers and thieves! <laughs> but you lead them. Yeah, only until I get a knife in my back. And believe me, that is how all leaders end up. But enough history. Blood only goes so far. You and I, we have business to transact. Tell me, brother, what do you see? Orcs, wagons, more orcs. Do you know what I see? Coin, fortune, and enough danger to make it fun. It seems you have better eyes than I do. It looks too, but who's keeping track? I suppose this coin you speak of is in those wagons, those surrounded by guards. They're soon to be dead guards. No survivors. The Overlord can't know that this is us. After all, he is paying us to keep these deliveries safe. You're working for the Orcs? <sighs> Look, in this line of work, I can't choose where my coin comes from. Besides, if you're thinking about taking over that fortress, you're going to need my men. And if you need men, you need coin. Help me, brother. I'll give you a family discount. How generous. Keep an eye out for wereworms. They're drawn to Grog. All the supplies come through this canyon. Easy. This is all Gondorian coin. And now, it's Easterling coin. Let's get these wagons back to the Oasis. Today, we get paid. These caravans have to stop. You and your boys need to get all this grog cleaned up before any wereworms show up. And don't spill any more, or you'll bring the rumbler here. The rumbler? Sounds like just what I need. It's time to spill some grog. Let's run down.
What have you done? Cut off the enemy's supply line. That was also my supply line! I need to keep the coin flowing. Do you see those men back there? Those are not soldiers. Their loyalty is bought, and when they stop getting paid, their blades are no longer under my control. These are marauder orcs. When we take their fortress, you'll get half their fortune, and I'll use the other half to pay you and your men for whatever comes next. All right. You know, coin is one thing. That fortress is another. Oh, I hope you've got a great plan. If you're serious about taking this fort, and getting me my coin, we'll need to find out what we're up against. And we'll need to be discreet. I wouldn't want to ruin your reputation among the Orcs. Chose his war chiefs well. He's called Takra, the Sand Spider. Encourages competition within his ranks. A bloody business, but it does weed out the weak. How provocation! Those orcs come straight from Baraku. How do you work with these beasts? Oh, they're not much different from mercenaries. They like to drink, to sing, and to kill. We. How have you survived among the Easterlings? By letting Jedi die. By becoming a Serka. I was weak. Afraid. To be hurt, killed. Serka cannot. We'll have to take this fortress before I run out of coin. Mercenaries are loyal only as long as you can pay them. They'll get their money. Now we know what we're dealing with. I've seen two kinds of mercenary, brother. One of them fights for gold, and the other seeks death in whatever way he can find it. I'm starting to think you're the second kind. The orcs were bound to retaliate after our infiltration of their fortress. The only question is how hard they've struck back. Welcome, sir. Would you like to hire more of my mercenaries? Where is Serka? I am Zoja, and the Vanishing Sons have chosen a new leader. Prices may have gone up since you... Where is my brother? Your brother! <laughs> you see, I had a brother once. His name was Serka. And then a stranger came, and he started to forget who his family was, his real family. Men who followed him, fled with him. He started to think he could work against us, against our patrons. No need for that. I gave him to a very fine fellow by the name of Ujak. He runs a fight pit called the Circus. Very entertaining. All sorts of warriors and beasts. You wouldn't think a man could get torn apart in so many ways. I will be back. Make sure you bring plenty of coin. There'll be no more family discounts around here, my friend. Welcome 
to the circus. I call the copia blood and pain. This is where flesh eats flesh, and where today you are the main attraction. You're quite the showman. I'll enjoy killing you. It seems the show has already begun. I have to get down there. Stinking overlord of the vanishing sons will be at his service, loyal as ever. Sarka, wait! Sarka has returned! Huh? <laughs> Sarka the unkillable, Sarka the insufferable, Sarka the destroyer! But if any of you would like to return to my good graces, Sarka the merciful asks only one thing. Take this piece of filth! Throw please, him to the worms! Please, please! No, 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 no! no! <laughs> you think he's going to protect you? You're dead! You're all dead! <laughs> And that is how you lead mercenaries, little brother. As long as they're ready for what comes next. Uh. I've got to hand it to you, brother. This is a hell of a plan. Let's get started. Are your men ready? Attack! Might just need a few more minutes. You've gone too far, man filth! Now you're looking like a soldier! <laughs> I pilfered some coin at the fortress. Have you come for them? Better than he deserved. Hope you never hide the gun from me! Don't think he's getting up. There you go, then! <sighs> we have won! I don't understand you. Your home has been destroyed. Scores of your men are dead. Ugh. The orcs will be coming back to finish you up. What have we won? Today's fight. Today's fight. What about tomorrow's? And the next day? And the next day? There's no end to it. Uh... Right. All right. <sighs> You're right. There is no end to it. This isn't the first time I've lost everything. They don't call me unkillable because I don't lose. It's because I never stop fighting. If I did, that would be the end of me. Trying to take that fortress could be the end of you. You don't realize it, or you don't care. Either way, you're insane. You're the one who traveled across Mordor to get to the desert. Allied with questionable mercenaries? Destroyed a canyon with a worm? Huh? When you put it that way, it does sound insane. Insane, yeah. I think... 
Now you understand me. My brother. Come on. <sighs> oh, I think I saw you flying yesterday. Jack, getting through me. Even the score. I'm going to tear off every limb you have before I kill you. Well, that doesn't seem even. Even would be an arm for an arm. I got bored out there. I'll slaughter all your men after this. Suffer at my hands. <laughs> My death changes nothing. You have no idea what's coming. The Dark Lord will return. And when he does, all of your kind will be wiped out. <laughs> Truly is a splendid dwelling. The finest place I've ever called home. Some would call it ostentatious. Not me. The Marauder Orcs may be bloodthirsty demons, but they have impeccable taste. They were always going to try and retake it. Who can blame them? How unfortunate for them that they will find it unoccupied. Where are the man pigs? <laughs> he does like to put on a show, doesn't he? It's a she. Gwendolyn. I checked her underbits. Uh, I have not forgiven your debt, Master Dwarf. Hey, I know where you live. Well, at least I have a place to live, eh? He's got me there. You know, there are other fortresses. Much grander than this one. 
Tell me more. Gogroth, for one. How do you feel about lava? Uh, well, look, if there's going to be more battles, you'll need a title. I think I'm fine. Uh, Baranor the Worm Herder. No. Uh, Baranor the Disarming. Very clever. Uh, Baranor the Dwarf Friend. I don't know about friend. Baranor the Manbird. Definitely not. Baranor the Conqueror. Whoa, that's not bad. Let's go with Manbird.